We're breaking out of our indoctrination. There is a reason to shine. We'll manifest with our hearts and we'll prosper. Worth should be measured by a person's soul. We're all beings of God. We all have good and bad in us. But our value to, to society should be measured by the good in someone's soul, not by how many backs they've stabbed and how many people they've stepped on to get what they have or where they are on the corporate ladder. Those who give their time to helping advance others and helping other people should be seen in a brighter light. Those of true heart and selflessness or people with heightened age who know the journey of life, the disabled or mentally challenged who express compassion and love on a different level. These souls are often shunned, but their measurement on a soul level should be admired. Instead, they get attacked. They bring joy. They bring knowledge and reflection. This Mentality would rocket our vibration, our consciousness to a 5D level and bring a massive amount of peace and love to the world. There is a disillusion of the value of humanity. People have been admiring movie stars, stars, the rich, successful, success. If you know about the 13 Phoenician families and the Caesarian Mafia, the Jesuits, you know, you've learned. You know the stars, the successful, are related to those 13 families, or they did something very bad or evil to get to where they are. Those very people are put, up, put on a show while scoffing at everybody else. Then the people tend to follow their lead and scoff at the homeless and people in their neighborhoods, the troubled, unless they have family members or a loved one in that situation. All this behavior holds down humanity as a whole. What matters? Love. Compassion. Those who help or give to the greater good. There is an awakening, awakening going on. Most people have heard the term, but what does it mean? It means we as a world, humanity is learning, and we have been lied to. We all have been used as slaves None of us have been free, though many still think so. We've been taxed and manipulated through money to the point the family has to put both parents to work and pay people to watch their kids. And they still struggle to pay their bills. They have altered history and hidden it and control and divide us. They have hidden books of the Bible to deceive and control us through religion. They have hypnotized us with false news, movies, and music to divide us and control us. Do you know what the word devil means? And it means divide. Divide.